Testing. Check, check. And watching you guys fight. And most of the fights you've ever been in, Mike, it looked like you just outmatched your opponent with energy and tenacity. But in your guys' fight, Evander was fucking bringing that same energy and intensity. And how did that feel for you as you were preparing for the fight? Because you guys knew each other for so long. And what was your mentality like preparing for that battle? I don't know. It's... um. With that, I said, fuck, this fucking guy can't beat me. What the fuck am I worrying about this fucking guy for? You know, what was I waiting about? What happened? To I, I came out of prison. I came out of prison, right? And I beat who I beat. I beat three guys, and then I think and I got two belts. Mm. I unified the title, and then I guess they stripped me for one of the belts. Right? Yeah. WBA, one of them, they stripped me for one. They didn't want me to have all of those. Listen, man, they hated on me so bad when I first came out because I came out with a fucking a vengeance. I think everybody, everybody was the fault that I went to prison. It was everybody's fault I went to fucking prison and everybody treated me bad when I was in prison and talked bad about me and this and that and this and that. So I came out there like I, I need revenge and people have to respect me and all that bullshit, right? So I was in there. I, was, I had some, I thought I was mad. I thought I was mad, I'm gonna win this fight. But when the fight started, I hit him in the body. Do you remember? I hit him with a great body punch. I ended up, ugh. And then he came back with some shit. He had kept fucking <laughs> <laughs> shit. I said, oh shit. And then we were fighting. And um, something happened. I threw a punch, hit me in the body, and I went down. And, then, and when I was down, the referee started counting. I said, you fucking asshole. And I said, I was yelling at him. And then he went back to the corner. And I said, all right, we're fighting. And then we went fighting and fighting. And a couple of stops, he counter punched me with some shots. I couldn't feel the punch. Boom, I none my ice over. My legs were going all over the place. But I wasn't going down. I kept coming back. I wanted to fucking bite him then, right? And I was just, <laughs> <laughs> we were just fighting and fighting. And the referee stopped the fight. Oh, my God. Evander, how about you? What was your what was your mindset and your game plan going into that? Well, the, the thing is, the thing is that I realized that Mike worked hard, but I started seeing when when Kevin when he got rid of, when they got rid of Kevin Rooney, mm. and so I realized that's when I started realize oh he Norman now Mike Mike. Step off his right foot may hit you with something. Mm-hmm. So they put they put Mike in a kind of like a pattern, a one two before he do something. He gonna go this way, then this. And so I so I know what to look for. At first it was always like you don't know which hand he gonna punch with. He when he started going, he was shifting like this, so he he, he can punch off this side and this side. So all of a sudden he got to the punch, he owned a punch on this side. And so I knew, okay, he can hit me with this left hook, I can block the left hook and all this. And then if he throw the right hand, it's gonna be short. Cause I'm lean, I'm gonna be leaning back. So I knew how to get him. So the whole big thing is to set myself up for the counter shots. Mm. Okay, if he beat me, now if he beat me to the shot, then I knew what he gonna do. So Every time he fights somebody, I I never miss not one of Mike fight. Cause my mama said, you can't wish some people away. If a person is good, you think they just gonna fade out? Uh-uh. My mama said, you gonna face them. They not going anywhere. So you can't wish people away. So so I realized that she said, you're not gonna wish him away. He gonna always be there. So I realized that, and he was. But Mike, the only fighter that I watch all his fight. So, so, so there was no if, ands, and buts. There ain't no way out. So you have to prepare yourself for the people who who's not going nowhere. And I would go in the fight. And I was fighting him. I'm going to punch. Boom! And he hit me. I said, "How do you do that? <laughs> How the fuck you do that? What happened just now? What did I do to fucking fuck up that he, I got hit like that?" Yeah, you could see. In the fight, I mean, you, you you knew your opponent very well, you know, and you could see that you had watched all his fights. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm to, it's. I mean, that's you know studying, but. Well, it's it's one of them things where that if it might the only person that I'd seen 
went through the things he went through, that they told him he couldn't. Mike was shorter than everybody, and and when he was fighting heavyweight, and in amateur, they made him fight a style that he couldn't do. Never get punch. They told him, no, 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 no. I'm stop. Get up. When he tried to get low, they make him stop. Get up. And so they made him fight straight up like this, and his arm is shorter than people. So how are he gonna hit the guy? But somehow he would find a way and and get a good one in there and, and knock him out. So all of a sudden, and so and so I realized that he been tested more than anybody else. So, but one thing that I knew that that inspired me to be heavyweight is called if Mike can do it, I can do it. Mm-hmm. I ain't nowhere in the world if he can become the heavyweight champion, I can, and my arms longer than his. Now. Mike going to hit them with big shots, but I I had fast hand, and I'm going to hit them with a lot of shots because everybody said, what's the difference? I said, well, that's just like George Foreman. They told me he throw boulders. I said, yeah, but I throw a lot of rocks. <laughs>